Hi, oh my god, Chaos Dragon, uh, with uh, the finale of uh, Awakening of Sark, and this time, of course, I'm trying with my Supreme King Magician deck. So let's see how it goes. Of course, uh, this deck uh, got quite a lot uh, better uh, because of, uh, of, of obviously the most recent panelists and stuff like that. We had two magician and and wild poison. So yeah, pretty cool. And the machine going to activate reach to my independent scale. It's going to pendulum on them both. So pendulum shook. So of course, this was the last dual video uh, in the old uh, format, I guess. Because of course, uh, next week it's going to be officially going to be a link format. Unfortunately, Yu-Gi-Oh still hasn't updated with the new rules. I'm not sure when they will actually do it, probably not anytime soon. So I, I think I might actually have to move to a dualing book, which I don't want to do, but I might not have any choice because, yeah, because I don't want to like play with the old format anymore after that uh, rule changes are official. So, yeah, very problematic. But in order to celebrate, uh, I guess, the, the transition into the link format, I think I'm going to do a live stream on uh, Thursday, uh, 20th of July. On, and I will be dwelling on Twilight Book, probably. I'm not sure how well, it, how well it will work out, but yeah. Because I haven't really dwelled seriously on there. I mean, on like Twilight Network. Uh, system obviously Twine Book is uh, like uh, a descendant of um, Twine Network in many ways. Obviously, uh, Twine Network uh, we must got taken down by Konami or NIS. And now, uh, now there is Twine Book, which is kind of like pretty much the same system essentially because yeah, it's all the same mechanics and manual system and all that. And at least on Twain Book there is like a, a link for what option, so... Okay, like with this toy, obviously it's now a 3, so that's really amazing. Okay, like let's read. Interesting. Okay, two of them, so I guess it's kind of a extra deck. Hmm, I guess why not then activate those Astrograph Sorcerer with the main card to summon out a Sark. Oh, the Exot Flame. Interesting. Or Obliterate. Obliterate. I guess that I iconic line in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dab. And get another Wisdom Eye to my hand. Now what can I do? Well, what I can do is just pendulum summon. No, not this. But I want these cards. Then I create two dimensions effect or harmonize dimensional effect. I'm obviously still getting used to the TCG names of uh, some of these cards. Hmm. 
Okay, I still just need... Kind of like these two. And search out Iris Magician. I think it's the only one missing. Kind of just Astrograph Source has effect. Okay, there you are, Rosa. So yeah, Togo Shogun, how are you suck, or Supreme King suck, really powerful card, but unfortunately I can't really do it any damage this turn, so I think I can just pass here, or something like that. I could actually assume because I'm on display, no one's running White Wing. I'm not sure if it's really necessary right now. I think not. So, yeah, I completely love this card, obviously, you know. Um, I think it's my second favorite card overall. Just really looks amazing, amazing design, obviously, really good effect. And I like it because it's kind of a combination of all so many mechanics. But in this case, I can definitely go for something. We will actually go for Ignister or this car. No, this kind of one is. Uh, um, I'm going to face up most of us, so I think I'll go for Ignister. The Synchro Choken. Then activate Ignister. Well, this one my Iris Magician. To bounce, uh, no, I think I need to like destroy the monster either way. The bounce it to the deck, and then I can activate the Iris Magician effect. And no, I'm not going to activate that, I think. But it's going to be an old decay anyway. If my opponent doesn't have a battle fader or something, so. I will get just get this for just in case my opponent has it. Then I have a time pendulum graph uh, as a disruption card. Okay, attack. And of course, it was pretty expected. Battle failure. I'm going to activate start time magician and get another. Dark spellcaster to my hand, and also I can, I can actually get it from the graveyard as well. I guess get back this from the graveyard because why not? It's an amazing card. So, yeah, there are basically two versions of I guess Sark Magicians or like Supreme Game Magicians. Their first is like uh, what I'm currently using, which is basically like um, just like with uh, Supreme King uh, gate cards. And all that, and the other one is without them, but it is more magician cards and all that, and has like you know, like some more room for deck cards essentially. But this deck really doesn't uh, don't have really much space for uh, variety, I guess. Okay, my plan surrender anyway. So yeah, so I guess let's uh, we can go to the next one, and I'm back. So let's see how it goes this time. So I definitely have to start preparing for the link format for sure because I haven't really dwelled in the link format at all so far. Obviously for the aforementioned reasons. Um, but still. And I think this deck can still work in the link format, I think. Uh, mostly. I'm not completely sure, obviously, but... I think it seems pretty likely. Because uh, 
a lot of times you call it to someone from the hand anyway like pen with someone from the hand not that the one thing I guess it's a problem I guess is when you want someone to talk but you still have star time magician on your field in the exodex zone so you kind of have to find a way to get rid of the star time uh, in the exodex zone first before uh, you can summon Sark out, essentially. Okay. Okay, what I should search to my hat? Interesting question. I think why not Iris Magician? Really cool card. Uh, and and in this deck I'm actually not using any school robot shocker. Mainly because, um, since I'm using the Supreme King engine as well, and not just magicians, I don't really have any space for School of Robot Shoker, and it also requires a normal summon. And generally, I'm normal summoning Dark Worm as well, so. And I don't think you need a School of Robot Shoker in this version of the deck. Because since you already have so many consistency cards, so yeah. Oh, it's true King Dinosaurs. Definitely very powerful deck. I I might lose this duel actually. It's just way too powerful to TLF, quite honestly. And since my deck uh, doesn't have much defense, I only have like that time pendulum graph as my other, uh, as my only like disruption card. Which kind of sucks, but you know, I don't really have any space for like back row or anything like that. And it's, I mostly want to focus on my sword combo anyway. Yeah, my point is definitely going off of that for sure. I just hope I am um, able to survive and maybe uh, do something next turn. But if my opponent sounds lucky, huh? maybe that uh, rank 9, then I'm pretty much screwed, I would say. I don't think there's any way for me to come back in that case. <laughs> but we'll see, I guess. There is still a chance. <laughs> okay, Xy summoning two Bravo here. Because that's basically the best cards. Basically the keys mostly you can give you and go into in dinosaurs. I'm actually also using a dinosaur deck myself as well. But of course I'm not using the two kings because Dragonic Diagram is too expensive. And of course like I mentioned before I kind of prefer the nor normal monster build anyway. And it's a more, more unique I guess as well. So I'm definitely going to show that um, post uh, link format essentially. Yeah this is going to be very bad for me. But let's hope for the best. <laughs> oh, oh, opponent attacks this, and then I'm going to activate my Astrocraft Sword. Activate the effect. Mm, Logia yeah, can't negate that, thankfully. And then get another dark worm to my hand. <laughs> so I'm actually going to be able to run over Logia yeah, in my turn. Which is really good. Get terraforming another diagram maybe. Or lost word. Get another diagram. So it's kind of like a pure Druving Tyrosaur deck. With no lost word. 
And that's it actually. I kind of expected something more than that. But I don't really mind it. So going back to the battle phase. Attack over the log here first obviously before activating anything else. But now the question is will I be able to go for Sark right away? And I think so. Go for Wild Poison and Black Funk Magician. Pendulum Shock. Pendulum Summon. Pendulum Shock. Of course, activate Dark from its effect on such a so bringing gate infinite. Going to an XC summoning to Dark Rebellion. XC Strabon. Really cool. Going to activate this effect to home up once monsters attack points. And I'm able to activate Astrocops was this effect. I'm able to summon Sark once again. Togo Shokan. And blow up my opponent's field. Can my opponent still able to get something back? Unfortunately, but... Oh well. But it's not too bad, I guess. I can actually still know what's on this card. But I'm not sure if it's actually worth it. I'm going to like Supreme Game Try on Dark Rebellion, but I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I think I will keep it my in my hand. So is my opponent able to get rid of Sark? Well, there is a way, obviously, it's your top of the lightning. If my opponent plays it. But otherwise... Oh, there is actually one other card, the rank 9. Monster as well. Yeah. A portion of a pun can actually get rid of it pretty easily if you think about that. Which is pretty unfortunate. But well, this deck is mostly for fun anyway. I don't think I plan to uh, play a Sark in competitive events. And obviously it's going to be nerfed quite a bit in the Link format. A full still playable, but it's not going to be very competitive, I think. So yeah, this video essentially ends uh, Arc 5 era officially for me. It was definitely one of the most interesting eras, I guess. Pretty broken. But at least every summoning mechanic got a sh chance to shine and be like uh, yeah, pretty competitive. So I think I'm pretty glad about that at least. But again, it was pretty unbalanced at the same time as well. The game got pretty broken at, at that time. But hopefully the link format is going to slow it down a little bit. I guess the link spam could be a problem still. If they got like really powerful. But at the same time, uh, link actually do cost quite a lot of resources. For example, Firewall Dragon, as soon as it requires 
for monsters if you don't use uh, link monsters materials as well as obviously other cards as well like wallet that uh, post monsters for wallet sorcery cards and uh, four monsters so yeah it's more definitely more resource in intensive I guess but for a good reason because uh, links essentially um, the summary make, make, uh, requirements are a lot um, are a lot more simplistic I guess so you can just use like just four monsters, any monsters, doesn't matter what level is, what attribute, what type, doesn't have to be a tuner or anything like that, so... So that's the main reason I think um, they have uh, seem to have a little bit more steep uh, summary requirements, they require more, more, more monsters, but at the same time... Um, Okay, my opponent, someone's throwing all calamities, obviously a very powerful card, but it's not okay, that as well. But the thing is, my opponent can't get rid of both my Dark Ripping Exist Dragon and my uh, Sark, so my opponent has to choose which one my opponent gets rid of, I guess. But the triggering all of calamities could still be a massive problem for me, I guess, because I won't be able to attack. Yeah. Or anything like that. Yeah, definitely a problem. Okay, in this case, going to activate Sky Iris. Then going to this one. So give me some dragon dark worm. Really cool. Of course, my plan is going to activate that effect. Well, the effect still goes off, essentially. You can force line now, I can't attack. So what can I even do then? I think I might actually have to pass. But I think we need someone with some defense as well. I can also activate Sky Iris. Yeah, I think I will pass for now. Definitely a very difficult duel. Definitely locking me down quite a bit. I kind of have to just hope that my opponent will run out of resources or something. Oh no, to run off in it. I think that will basically almost kill me. Wow. Yeah, that's a pretty good card. 
Okay, maybe I shouldn't have normal summoned. What's supreme game? Dark Worm. But the question obviously is, can I survive? If I survive one more turn, then my plant will not have that exit material anymore, and I can actually do something then, but in the meantime, I'm in a pretty bad position. So let's see. Okay, my plan has ultimate conductor to run as well then. I'm definitely screwed. Because that card is really amazing. So let's see. Oh my plan just wow, time limit was up. Well, that can definitely happen on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, that's for sure. So my opponent waited way too long to make a play. Well, and that's it uh, for uh, for this uh, final uh, episode of Awakening of Sark. Kinda anticlimactic uh, ending, but still at least got to uh, summon Sark both times. So I think it's a very fitting end uh, to this series. So I think I will do another uh, online uh, dueling series in the future, that for sure. Might be something uh, rank up related, uh, kind of a sequel to a Revolution of Rank Up, or maybe something Link related once the uh, Link monsters become a lot better. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode and this series, uh, kind of a mini series, only with 15 episodes. Uh, so for now, uh, goodbye and Omar Kiss out.